I get a lot of questions about dragons here. And the question I'm asked more than any other is, how do you think dragons feel about being portrayed as villains in so many stories and movies? So let's explore Bernard Herrmann's The Dragon in this week's Analytical Music Theory Analysis of the Week. By the way, this is a segment from the Carl King Podcast. So if you enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe and send us burritos. This week's Analytical Music Theory Analysis of the Week is The Dragon, an orchestral cue by Bernard Herrmann from the 1958 film The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. There are at least two versions of this score out there. One is the original, conducted by... Bernard Herrmann himself, and the other is a re-recording in 1988 conducted by John Debney. But why they re-recorded it, I have none idea. But I do know that The Dragon is a 2 minute, 15 second orchestral cue, and we are going to look at two elements of it. Number one, the dynamic wave pattern, and number two, the heavy metal riffs. Up first, that dynamic wave pattern. The opening of this cue has a pair of chords, and the first one fades in, and the second one fades out. And it continues like that. Fade in, fade out, like waves on the beach. And that is trademark Bernard Herrmann. You can hear this exact dynamic pattern happening all over his music. And another obvious example, is the opening of The Day the Earth Stood Still. It's like an inhale and an exhale. And in this cue, it kind of sounds like a sleeping dragon doing some snoring. Now let's move on to the second feature of this cue, the heavy metal riffs. The tonal center of this piece is D for dragon. And there are three sections or themes and we're going to look at them one by one. The opening theme A is in 3-4, and it can be reduced to two voices, starting on D and moving in opposite directions. The lower moves down a half step to D flat, and the upper voice moves up a half step to E flat, which creates the interval of a major ninth. By the way, these can be considered as lower and upper leading tones, and that implies a five chord. It does that four times, and each time adding a bit to the orchestration, and the fourth time with a faster rhythm, increasing the urgency. The third and fourth of these are higher dynamic, so it goes quiet, loud, quiet, loud, alternating. The quiet chords are played by two clarinets, two bass clarinets, and two bassoons. And the loud chords are played by the contrabassoon, three trombones, and two tubas. And in those loud ninths, some of them are in the low register, creating quite a bit of dissonance. Then it moves to theme B, and this is very heavy metal. It resembles the opening track Black Sabbath from the album Black Sabbath by the band Black Sabbath, because apparently you can never have enough Black Sabbath. The notes are A, E and D sharp, which would be the one, five, and sharp four. Or flat five, but it's good to use a different name for each note when possible. Theme C is a fast, heavy, thunderous timpani riff using two different timpanists. One guy could probably play both parts if you wanted to surround him with six timpani, but the parts were placed on two different staves, 
So it was probably meant for two players. The first set of timpani play the notes D, E, and F in the rhythm one, two, three, four, triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. And that's followed by timpanist two playing the same thing, but an octave down. And by the way, those notes imply a D minor tonality. In the 1988 version, the percussionists are really beating the crap out of those timpani. It reminds me of Gorgon by Christopher Rouse, which is like the death metal of classical music. And if you haven't heard that, I will put a link in the show notes. But it seems that several changes were made from that written score to arrive at the performances on the recordings. Now, if you haven't checked out Bernard Herrmann before, he's available at your local public library. And one of my favorite Bernard Herrmann albums is The Twilight Zone, conducted by Joel McNeely in 1999. It's a double disc album, and you can find it on streaming platforms. But you also can't go wrong with the score from The Day the Earth Stood Still. If you like this video, support the creation of more by joining my Patreon for $1 or $5 a month. That's patreon.com slash Carl King. Yeah.